friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm, and today I want to talk to you guys about growing annual phlox for cut flowers. So I've seen a lot of questions in the forums lately online about when do I start it, should I direct sow it, should I start it indoors, when can I plant it outside. So I'm going to talk to you guys about my experience with phlox last year and how I successfully grew it. Now I do things a little bit differently than the seed packet says. And what I always like to say is experiment and find out what works for you. But here are the methods that worked for me. First of all, just so you know, I am in zone 4B and my last frost date is somewhere in mid-May, sometimes as late as Memorial Day. So I like to say May 20th is my final frost date for the year. So first of all, I started my seeds indoors and I started them indoors the first week of March, I think March 7th was the day that I started my phlox seeds last year. I used soil blocks and I completely covered the seed with a thick layer of vermiculite because phlox seeds need darkness to germinate. So they also did not need the heat pad because germination for annual phlox seeds are between 60 and 65 degrees. So for me, that meant just on a shelf downstairs. So I literally covered them, put them on the shelf, and forgot about them for several days. I had excellent germination on all of the phlox seeds except for sugar stars, which was an older seed packet. I'm not sure if the reason that the germination was poor on sugar stars is because it was older seed or if it just had a bad germination rate. Anyway, Everything else was really successful. As soon as they started to germinate, I moved them from the shelf to underneath my grow lights, and that's where they stayed for the next six weeks. So on April 28th, which is about a month before my last frost date, I planted them out in black uh, Bio 360 fabric. It's not plastic, it's a biodegradable film. So I planted them outside in my deer fence on April 28th. I know it's not in like cool flowers book and stuff. So I was trying to think where did I find this information that I could plant it out earlier. And so I did a little bit of searching this morning and it was a proven winners article all about growing annual phlox. And it does say in that article that it is frost tolerant. So you can plant it out ahead of your last frost date by several weeks. I actually had it out uncovered with a 23 degree night and it actually, it, it didn't affect it at all. So I know a lot of people are saying wait until your last frost date to put out annual phlox. I say if you want to take a chance, it worked for me about a month ahead of time. I had blooms, let's just say June 28th, I was cutting my first phlox. Okay, so you can direct sow it, absolutely, and you can direct sow it as soon as you can work your soil. So as soon as you can get in, work your soil, it's not too wet, it's not too cold, that's when you can start your direct sowing of annual phlox. I did not direct sow any annual phlox. I started everything in a soil block. Okay, so I started them in soil blocks. I covered them heavily in vermiculite because they need darkness to germinate. I planted them out about a month before my last frost date. They withstood a 23 degree night with zero protection and I had my first blooms by June 28th. I could have had my first blooms earlier than that, but what you do with phlox in order to get the length of the stems is I pinched it back I would say like once a week I was pinching it back. So you just pinch it, pinch it, pinch it. It branches out, it branches out. The stems get long. I'm gonna just pinch off the tops. Oh, they smell so good. I planted them at a four to six inch spacing. I'll probably do six inches this year because I'll have more space for them. Uh, but they, I had no problems with powdery mildew or anything like that. The one issue I did have, which wasn't really an issue, was the, the hummingbird moths. I loved it. And I know people don't like the hummingbird moths because of the caterpillar that, that eats stuff. It's a hornworm. But um, I think hummingbird moths are magical. They're like little fairies. So I don't mind seeing them. Veda was scared of them. Remember this clip? <laughs> <laughs> I found that by July I was harvesting bucketfuls of phlox and uh, they do have a sweet scent to them as well which I didn't expect. It wasn't very strong but it was definitely there. So what am I growing this year? I've gone over this in my longer seed um, like seed unboxing videos but um, I'll talk about them more here. So I'm growing even more varieties this year of annual phlox. I also have perennial phlox. Um, I just I haven't, though, I, I planted those bare root last year and they haven't really taken off for me yet. So the varieties that I'm growing this year include Lavender Beauty, I got this one from Baker Creek. I did pick up two from Florette. One is called Whipped Cream. 
And this one's called Dulce de Leche. I just had to Google that. Dulce de Leche, which is like a caramel color. And then I have Sugar Stars, which hopefully they will germinate for me this year. This is brand new seeds. This is the old Sugar Star packet that would not germinate for me. I might try you again. I might not. And then we have the Cherry Caramel Flox. I absolutely love the Cherry Caramel one. And then I have Blushing Bride, Starry Eyes, and more Cherry Caramel. I was really hoping to get my hands on some of the other colors, but um, they ran out of stock before I was able to buy some. So these are the flocks that I'll be growing this year, and I'm so excited because they just add this romantic, beautiful, whimsical, um, just amazing touch to bouquets, and they were one of my favorite. I considered them kind of like a filler because I was able to kind of uh, round out the bouquet around the bottom and then have a little bit coming out the top, and it was just beautiful. So there you have it. That is how I grow annual phlox as a cold hardy annual, not necessarily down to like the single digits, but in the 20s, Proven Winter says it's totally fine for them to spend some time in the 20s. <laughs> Wouldn't we all like to be back in our 20s? <laughs> Oh, I digress. Anyway, annual phlox. It's a really great, great flower for me, and I hope you guys try it out. In fact, I think it might be on my grow along list next season. So I'm gonna put the link to that Proven Winners article in the description of this video if you guys wanna look at it more closely. Uh, it has more details on the growing of annual phlox for cut flowers. I hope this was helpful for someone and answers some questions that I've seen all over the internet. So thanks guys for sticking around. I'll see you soon. By July, I was bucketing, bucketing. I was bucketing flocks by July. <laughs> Dulce de leche, de leche. Or homemade caramel. Dulce de leche. <sighs> it's not a weed. That's actually flocks. That's actually flocks. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Pinch. Every time I harvest, oh, there's a thistle. Ugh, I hate thistles. They have um, spikes. These are flocks. Are they fighting? They're fighting! They're fighting! No. <laughs>